they had an award for the laziest, the most inconsistent YouTuber. I would totally bag it and I don't feel ashamed admitting it. Salut tout le monde, happy new year, bonne année, bonne année santé, bonne année l'argent, barrière moi campia. I haven't uploaded a video for what? Two months now, some of us have full time jobs. It's a busy world, we're trying to secure the bag. So, forgive me, okay? Forgive me. I'm going to try to be consistent in 2019. Keyword here is try. And I changed my YouTube name. Um, I just figured it's the right thing to do because Tracy wasn't really going for me when I started the channel I was thinking of all these different kinds of names and Lago Kenyan it reminded me when I was thinking of a name for my channel I wanted to do the like East African girl or like I don't know Kenyan chick in Abidjan something like that and this is just you know the French version of what I had thought about. I think it goes well with the flow of my channel and the direction I want this channel to go. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, come on. So I tell you to start off the year by telling you some of the things I have come to learn while living here in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, West Africa, because it's a totally whole different world out here totally different culture from the east the first major thing that i learned is that nigeria is not really the hq of witchcraft honestly from the movies that you watch back home nigerian movies i'm sure many of you have watched them it's always been put that you know there's all this witchcraft thing going on people turning into chicken like some really scary stuff i've always been really skeptical about this juju thing i know it's everywhere in africa but because it's portrayed most of the time in nigerian movies that's what you get to see so in my mind it has always stuck since i was a kid nigeria nigeria juju juju all the time i got here and i was told that's not even it the second HQ of juju or voodoo or witchcraft, however you want to call it, in Africa is Benin. I've been told, don't get married to someone from Benin. I've been told, be afraid of people from Benin because there it's really the strongest. I met people from Benin who don't even travel to their village. It's so bad. I honestly haven't been told anything nice about Benin other than just you know be scared about this be scared about that the number one home base in the world of Juju is Haiti apparently the Haitians are like the masterminds of what I think there they call it voodoo and it didn't just come from one person a couple of people told me this so I'm really scared of Haitians right now the second thing that I learned is that they don't really speak French in Senegal it's mostly Wolof which also kind of disappointed me because I was like okay I have really started just to understand French and to speak it okay yay I can travel to Senegal because then I'm gonna be really comfortable and I'll be able to move around by myself people speak French but it's not that a major thing that to a point where you might you might kind of get stranded a bit if you don't speak well of I don't know if I missed a session of a geography class but honestly honestly I didn't notice that Cameroon has anglophone part and a francophone part and that they also just don't like each other like they literally really 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 don't like each other i just used to assume that since cameroon is you know francophone side they speak french all of them this next one <laughs> kenyans will relate i think also east africans will relate in my entire existence on this planet earth i didn't know that my forehead is this big People who have interacted with Kenyans or people from East Africa and they get from my accent, I'm not from here, they'll be like, are you from East Africa? Because yeah, you look like you're from there. Yeah, people will be like, oh yeah, you know, you guys have like big foreheads. And even some of my friends will be like, oh Tracy, your forehead is big. 
and I find this really funny because back home I would have noticed or I would have known that my forehead is big if I was teased in school which means back home this is nothing compared to what people here think I can't complain I accept it it's not an insult it's you know one of our distinctive features so who am I to start crying or whining about it the African fabric especially the wax type which I have always thought it's an African thing that we've had it like from our ancestors like from years way way back and it's not African it's actually I think is it from Holland like it's a company from Holland that started this business like I don't know in 1846 or something like that and the factories are in Africa and I also think that the largest consumers are Africans and I was really disappointed because people here wear it a lot I'm pretty sure we've all had this song plays in I think almost all African parties yeah this guys <laughs> magic system I didn't know that they are Ivorians I don't maybe I thought they were Congolese I don't know but this song has just been popular for a really really long time and when I came here I saw this group and I was like these guys look familiar and this was even before I knew that they were the ones that did this song DJ Kejevara I also didn't know he's Ivorian but there's this particular song I think they played in one of those Kenyan dance shows and it was really popping and I loved it so I just knew the song was by DJ Kejevara but I didn't know he's the one who did it so that's it from this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe button the notification button comment down below tell me what you're thinking questions i will try to answer them until my next video 